All right, scale drawing. When you're using scale drawing to find the area, you have to use the scale that's given to you in order to multiply to find the area of the object that it's talking about. So number one says, in Micah's drawing of his room, one centimeter represents two feet. What is the area of his room? First thing we do is we write the scale. Scale is the drawing compared to the actual size. So this is going to be one centimeter to two feet. Once you know your scale, you set up proportions to find the actual length and width. So for my proportion, the scale is one centimeter to two feet. And I'm going to set that equal to the width is three centimeters. And I want to know how many feet. That's just for the width. I also have to do the same thing for the length. But let's find the actual width first. When you have a proportion, you cross multiply. 1 times x is 1x. 2 times 3 is 6. Anytime you have a coefficient of 1, you just write whatever that variable is. So the width is 6 feet. Now we do the same thing for the length. My scale is one centimeter to two feet, and the length is five and a half centimeters. And we're looking for the length. One times L, and you can use whatever variable, it doesn't matter. One times L is one L, which is just L. And 2 times 5 and a half is 11. So the length is 11 feet. Now that I know the actual width and the actual length, I can find the area. To find the area of a rectangle, you multiply length times width. So the width is 6 times the length is 11 equals 66 feet squared because it is area, our unit has to be squared. Number two says, what is the area of the rectangle below when it is enlarged by a scale factor of three? So, we are going to calculate the new width and the new length, taking these side measurements and multiplying them by the scale factor of three. So when you're given the drawing and you're given the scale factor, you just multiply the two numbers together to find the actual size. So my width is three. You take the original length and you multiply it by the scale factor. I'm going to use SF for scale factor. And that gives you the new length. 3 times 3 is 9. So my new width is 9 feet. For the length, we do the same thing. Take the original 10 and a half, multiply it by the scale factor, and 10 times 10 and a half times 3 is 31 and a half feet. So if I'm taking this area of this rectangle and I'm enlarging this rectangle by 3, a scale factor of 3, then I'm going to multiply both of these sides by 3 to find the new side lengths. Now that I have the new side lengths, I can calculate the area by multiplying length times width. The new length, 31 and a half, times the new width, 9, equals 283 and 5 tenths square feet. 
Number three, a four floor plan of Eva's new house has a scale of one inch to 12 feet. On the floor plan, Eva's bedroom is three fourths of an inch by seven eighths of an inch. What is the actual area of Eva's bedroom? So first thing we do is we write the scale. The scale is one inch to 12 feet. The second thing we do is set up proportions to find the actual length and the actual width. So I have for my length, one inch over 12 feet equals, I have three fourths of an inch by seven eighths of an inch. Length is longer, so it's the bigger number that's going to be three fourths. of an inch over length, because we're looking for length. Length. So I cross multiply, one times L is just going to leave me with length. 12 times 3 fourths. 12 times 3 fourths. I always simplify before I multiply. 12 and 4 will both simplify by 4, so that becomes 12 divided by 4 is 3, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and then I multiply, 3 times 3 is 9. If you multiply first, you're still going to get the same answer. 12 times 3 is 36, and 36 divided by 4 is 9, you still get the same answer, it's fine. So the length of, the actual length of her bedroom is 9 feet. And now I do the same thing for the width. One inch over 12 feet equals seven eighths over W. One times W is W. 12 times seven eighths. I'm going to simplify first. 12 and 8 are both divisible by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 7 times 3 is 21. And 1 times 2 is 2. 21 divided by 2 is 10.5. So my width is 10.5 feet. Then when I multiply to find step three, the actual area, ten and a half times nine is ninety-four and five tenths feet. If you used seven eighths for your length and three fourths for your width, you're still going to get the same answer because you're using the same scale factor. And once you find the length and width, you're multiplying those two numbers together. So it doesn't matter which one you found for your length and which one you found for your width because when you multiply, you're still going to get 94 and 5 tenths feet squared. Number four, what is the area of the rectangle below when it is reduced by a scale factor of one half? So number two, it was enlarged by a scale factor of three and it got bigger. This one's being reduced by a scale factor of one half, so it's getting smaller. Because when you multiply by fraction, it's going to get smaller. Calculate the new length and width. So I'm going to take the original length, three and a half centimeters, and I'm going to multiply that by the scale factor of one half. When you multiply, you need to convert your mixed number to an improper fraction. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And then you multiply straight across. 7 times 1 is 7. 2 times 2 is 4. And 7 over 4 is 1 and 75 hundredths. For your length.
And for the width, I take two, my original width, multiply it by the scale factor. Two and two will simplify. And that leaves me with one centimeter for my width. So when I multiply to find the actual area, length times width is one and seventy-five hundredths centimeters squared.